Hi, this is Greg Justice from AYC Health and Fitness and contributing writer to Living Wellness Kansas City Magazine. This month I want to talk to you about metabolic resistance training as it relates to diabetes. Now currently there are 20 million diagnosed cases of diabetes in the U.S. There's another estimated 10 million individuals that are not diagnosed, which basically means they're walking time bombs. Now of those nearly 30 million Americans, 90% of them have what's called type 2 diabetes. Now type 2 diabetes is a lifestyle disease, much like diseases that are caused by smoking, excessive drinking, drugs, things like that. Now, Type 2 diabetes basically means that the body has stopped producing insulin or the insulin that it is producing is not being used efficiently. Insulin is simply a hormone that regulates fat and carbohydrate metabolism in the body. So the cool thing about metabolic resistance training is that it actually attacks diabetes at the root, right at the metabolism. So today, I'm going to show you a beginner's workout because a lot of the individuals that we work with uh, that come to us with type 2 diabetes are relatively new into the world of workout. So I'm going to take you through a uh, beginning workout, but it's always important to get your doctor's approval before doing this or any workout program. So make sure you do that, and I hope you enjoy this workout. All right, it's time for the workout now. The workout I've uh, put together for the uh, diabetic workout today is what we call a 60-30 or a 15 repetition workout. So what I'm looking for in that 60 second period of time is 15 repetitions. So it's at a very controlled pace. I don't want you going too fast, especially in the beginning, learning the basic movements. You'll notice that I've alternated between an upper and a lower body movement all the way down through the eight movements that we're doing. I'm going to show you both a beginner version and a progressed version of that. So we'll have two things going on at the same time and I'll show you the basic starting movement and then a step up or a progressed version of that same movement as we go through this cycle. Three, two, one, go. Okay, our first movement is the upper body pushing movement and you'll notice Jamie has a nice upper body posture here with her head stacked directly on her shoulders, pushing the weight or resistance straight out in front of her. Ellen is over here doing the progressed movement, a push-up, and you can do this off of a counter, kitchen counter, or off of a, a chair. This is our upper body pushing movement. We'll now go to the lower body movement. The first movement in our lower body we're going to do is the squat. Ellen is going to grab a dumbbell and do a goblet squat. Jamie is going to do a basic bench One squat. Go. Again, notice on both of them that their knees do not extend in front of their toes. We've got a range of motion regression with the bench for Jamie. Ellen, as long as her knees are in good shape, Halfway. she can break that 90 degree plane with that range of motion. Again, we've added the kettlebell for an additional load progression. This is the first lower body movement alternating between an upper, lower, Stop. upper, lower. Now we're going to go back to the upper body movement. Ellen is going to go over to the TRX row. Jamie is going to grab the resistance bands. We're going to get in a nice posture. A few yeah. rounds down. Go. And as you'll notice in this basic pulling position, Jamie's torso is upright. She's got a good stable base. She's pulling those hands toward her rib cage while maintaining a good tight core. As we go to the progressed okay. position, the same thing, a nice straight line. Ellen is pulling her body weight right up with her hands toward her rib cage as she keeps that nice posture looking at the attachment Stop. and then we'll go right back to a lower body movement. We're going to do the side lunge. 
Jamie's going to keep her feet stationary. Ellen is going to alternate her step. Three rounds down. Go. Now the key on this one is we want to make sure that as they go down and up, in that down position, the knees are going in the same direction as the toes. That's important to protect the knees. Again, you'll notice Jamie's Halfway. stationary with her feet, which is a regressed version. And Ellen is taking a nice wide step in a progressed manner. Stop. And we'll go right back to an upper body movement, the lateral raise. The basic lateral raise Jamie is going to show. And all she's going to do, turn this way just a little bit for me. There we go. Four rounds down. Go. Okay, she's going to bring her elbows just slightly in front, elbows slightly bent. The hand stops shoulder height. Elbows and hands are the same height. The progression to this, as you can see, Ellen is adding a step to Halfway. it. And now you'll notice she's stepping that foot off and to the back, and that's to protect that front knee as she steps up. Same thing, her elbows are slightly bent. The hands and elbows go shoulder height. Stop. And all the way down. Now we're going to go back to the lower body. Hand around on that. In a back lunge. I'm going to give Ellen some dumbbells. Five rounds down. Go. You'll notice that Jamie is using a support for some balance. As they're in the down position, also notice that the knee is not in front of the toes. Again, we're trying to protect the knees. We're trying to keep the torso relatively upright. There can be a slight lean forward, but we don't want to be too far forward. Nice steady pace, alternating right and left. Stop. Now we're going to go to the upright row, back to an upper body movement. Going to hand Ellen a kettlebell. You can use dumbbells, kettlebells, barbells, whatever you'd like. Six rounds down. We want a good solid Seven. base here. And with the upright row, I want her elbows to stop shoulder height. There we go. And that will make the kettlebell stop about rib cage height, just under the chest. Halfway. And you'll notice in the progressed position, Ellen is, has added a wide squat or a plie to the movement. So it's a little more metabolic, a little more cardiovascular, getting that heart pumping. But again, the same thing, the elbow stop shoulder height, and all the way down. All right. Our last movement will be a side squat. I'm going to give this right back to Ellen. We'll go into that goblet position for her. Over Seven here with Jamie. Go. She's going to take a step out as she goes into a nice squat position. Again, that range of motion uh, regression is built in with the bench. Now with Ellen, we've allowed her, because of her advanced level of fitness, to go a little bit greater range of motion with her resistance being the kettlebell. Again, that can be a dumbbell, a barbell, whatever you'd like to hold on to. Just a nice step down, good position with the feet, position with the knees, and all the way up. So that's your eight cycle workout, or eight station workout. That was one cycle, and you can repeat that two to three or four more times for your metabolic resistance training workout.